844. We're back here. Stacey McLaughlin, editor of Western Living Condo Magazine, joining us. Nice to see you nice again. Nice to see you. I was just asking you, rentals this summer, I mean, you get into the season, sun is shining, you've got some great ideas here in the magazine, and we're talking about how to inject that splash of color yeah. into the home. And I like this first tip because it's easy to overdo it, uh, work on the balance aspect of the color. Exactly. You don't, it can be a little scary working with color sometimes, but the key is just using small accents. Just like your, your outfit here, you've got a beautiful neutral gray jacket, but the little pops of purple really sort of pull it all together and the same is true for your house too. You know I thought about that before the segment. <laughs> I'm like she's probably going to analyze the canvas. Got to so, impress. Uh, yeah. You brought some great examples yes. uh, for you at home if you're, you're going to do that. Uh, tell us about what works here. So here we've got just a couple of red chairs, which I really love. Uh, adding a little color to, to your home doesn't have to be a huge investment. You don't have to replace your whole dining set. Try mixing in just a few key pieces that add that little pop. So think about a, a little bit of a, a hit of color rather than you know a whole matchy matchy thing. Okay, chairs are one example. Mm -hmm. I think we have another. Yeah. So this is a beautiful bocce chandelier that's hanging in this space designed by Miguel Broven. So the space is very neutral, just like your suit. Uh, lots of grays and whites, but there's that hit of orange in the chandelier that sort of draws the eye to the space isn't overwhelming. And you know one of the common things I see as well if we're going white or neutral and when it comes to color of the walls having one wall that really stands yeah. out what are the must do's when it comes to a feature wall? Um, pick pick a color and go for it. Uh, there's no need to be afraid like if you paint a wall you can paint over it again that's the beauty of it so and even if you don't like painting even if that's your most hated chore uh, it's really only a weekend project so it's low commitment low stakes uh, pick a color and go for it. It is what I would say. We have a couple of designs to yeah. look at. Ooh, look at this. So this one is a, a wallpaper feature wall. Same idea, so just adding a hit of color. It just takes an afternoon. So this is a design by Kyla Bidwell. Um, just one wall really sets the tone when you come in the house, but the rest of it could be neutral and um, low commitment for sure. And this one, uh, space designed by The Cross, so bright pink, obviously not for everybody, but again, a low stakes way to add a, a big swath of color to the room that, you know, when you get tired of pink next week, next month, next year, easy enough to, to paper over or paint over. Tile is another way to add a hit of color with a little work. So here in this Falcon Reynolds design space, they've used sort of a, a beautiful cactus green tile as the backsplash as just, it gives the room a whole new dimension. Different textures to play with. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. And speaking of which, I like this one for simplicity, the the idea of just putting color in the cushions. Yeah. Throw pillows, that's a designer's best friend. Uh, easy to swap in and out as seasons change or as tastes change. Uh, so that's what I would recommend. Stock up on a bunch of fun colors and patterns as trends come in and out. So here in this Oliver Simon design space, we've got a nice bright pop of blue in an otherwise neutral room. It really pulls on the, there's a vase on the side as well that does have that same blue. So peppering it in, sort of continuing that trend without overwhelming the space with, with a whole lot of color. Here, this yellow cushion in this bedroom that otherwise is very monochromatic, it has so much more impact than if there were 10 yellow cushions, right? It's just about that little quick hit, a surprise, uh, a splash of fun wherever you can sneak it in. And you know, I'm seeing the use of artwork in these and that's the kind of direction you're going, artwork and uh, the rugs to add color. Yeah, if you sort of are looking for inspiration, maybe you're like, ah, where do I begin? Picking a piece of artwork that you really love and pulling colors out of that is a really great place to start. Or a rug, which is kind of like artwork for the ground. Uh, so find a great painting, pull out colors from that, like this space designed by Gail Guevara. There's some Zoe Pollock paintings hanging on the back wall there that have beautiful ocean blues. Uh, the designer has grabbed cushions that, that match those colors and so it gives the room a sense of like, this is our palette, this is the, the color feeling of the room and it all just started with a painting that she loved. And the accessories within the room, they can just act as functional pieces that add that pop of color too, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so a throw cushion, maybe not the most functional thing, a fun decoration, but you can also use things that you do use every day and have those be your slashes of color as well. So um, a beautiful set of dishes, have those on display. Don't just hide them away in the cupboard. They can add a hit of color as well. Or I love uh, the trick of using your books as, as a color palette as well. So arranging them in sort of a rainbow or curating the ones that you have out by color is a great one too. So this space, it's got those functional items, the, the dishes in the back of the shelf, if you can see those here, uh, they bring in a hit of blue into an otherwise white space. And this one, um, your functional object here would be your desk chair. Doesn't always have to be black and boring. It can be something that's really fun too, like in this space designed by Sophie Burke, this yellow mid-century modern style chair. Fun ideas all yeah. around, all of which you can find.